Hi, I'm Tanya Winders with Allergy Asthma Network, Mothers of Asthmatics, and I'm here today with Kevin from AtuAllergy.com. We're talking about how to allergy proof your bedroom. Are you aware that you spend more than 30% of your life in your bedroom? Today, we're going to learn some helpful tips on how to reduce your exposures to triggers for allergies and asthma. The very first thing you should do when allergy proofing your bedroom is to eliminate all books and stuffed animals, no matter how cute they may be. If you can't eliminate the stuffed animals from your bedroom, at least commit to washing them one time per week in hot water to eliminate dust mite exposure. One of the best things you can do when it comes to pillows and mattresses is encase them with an encasing like this. These specially woven covers block the dust mite allergen that's in mattresses or pillows. With other bedding like sheets and blankets, the best thing that you can do is wash them regularly, at least once a week, in hot water. When allergy proofing your bedroom, it's important to vacuum frequently. It's recommended that you vacuum with a HEPA filter at least two times per week to control the dust mites. Another type of help device would be a certified HEPA air purifier. This type of device actually cleans the air in your home, removes things like pollen and pet dander from the air that you breathe. It's also important to gauge the humidity in your bedroom. This helpful device could help monitor the humidity in your room. So the most important thing you can do to help keep your, your bedroom allergy free is to clean frequently. At least one time a week you should dust thoroughly, including your lines uh, as well as all hard surfaces. If possible, you can replace your carpeting with hardwoods or tile to eliminate many of the dust mites. Those are great tips. It's also important to remember the ceiling fans. A lot of times people can forget about dusting these inside the bedroom or anywhere really in your home. Thanks for visiting the Allergy and Asthma Network and at chewallergy.com. Winters with Allergy Asthma Network, Mothers of Asthmatics, and I'm here today with Kevin from AtuAllergy.com. We're talking about how to